3i Atlas is doing the impossible. New data from the Hubble Space Telescope, captured in January 2026, has confirmed a structure that defies the fundamental laws of astrophysics. While every known comet in our history is shaped by the solar wind pointing its tail away from the sun, 3i Atlas is doing the opposite. It has developed a massive, tightly columnated anti-tail that is actively piercing into the solar wind, pointing directly toward the sun. This jet is 11.6 times longer than it is wide, a geometric precision that nature rarely produces. Mathematically, the probability of this object's orientation and behavior being a natural coincidence has been calculated at 0.00001%. We aren't just looking at a strange rock anymore. We are looking at a mathematical impossibility drifting through our system. And the closer we look, the more it appears that 3i Atlas isn't reacting to our sun. It's navigating it. Welcome back to the void. I'll be honest, I try to stay grounded when we discuss interstellar objects, but the latest images of 3i Atlas make that difficult. What we're seeing isn't just a weird comet. It's an object that, as it moves further away from the sun into the cold darkness, is actually increasing its activity. Normally, as the heat fades, a comet dies down but 3i Atlas is waking up. In this documentary, we're going to analyze the specific filters Hubble used to see through the glare, the triple jet structure that shouldn't exist, and the silent tension growing between independent researchers and the scientific mainstream. Why is the data being ignored? And what did 3i Atlas leave behind when it passed Mars? It's time to look at the numbers, because the numbers don't lie. We are living through a unique moment in human astronomy. For the first time, we aren't just watching a visitor. We are watching a visitor that seems to have a destination. As we drift through the cosmic silence, objects like this remind us how little we actually know about what hides in the void. To understand how we know 3i Atlas is lying to us, we have to talk about the Hubble Space Telescope. It hasn't always been the flawless eye in the sky we celebrate today. When it launched in 1990, it was a disaster, a mirror flawed by a tiny spherical aberration that turned the darkness into a blur. It took years and a risky repair mission to give Hubble the eyeglasses it needed. But even with perfect vision, some things remain hidden in the glare. When astronomers look at a comet, they are often blinded by the coma, the bright, fuzzy cloud of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus. To see what's really happening inside, they use a specialized tool called the larsen sicania filter. It's a rotational gradient process. Imagine taking two photos of a spinning object, rotating one slightly and subtracting it from the other. This cancels out the circular, messy light and leaves behind only the linear features, the jets. When this filter was applied to a normal comet, like C-2022E3, it revealed messy, chaotic sprays of dust being blown back by the solar wind. But when the same technique was applied to 3i Atlas, the results were chilling. It didn't show a chaotic spray, it showed three distinct needle-like jets. One of them, the primary anti-tail, is a tightly columnated spear of matter that stretches out over 11 times its own width. It's not a cloud, it's a beam, and it's pointing the wrong way. I can't shake the feeling that we are looking at something designed for propulsion, not a random leak of gas. What gets me is the math. In science, we use probability to determine if something is a fluke or a pattern. 3i Atlas is a pattern that shouldn't exist. To understand why, we have to look at the fine-tuning of its journey. When an object enters our system from the interstellar void, it can come from any direction. It can dive in from the galactic north or skim the southern edges. But 3i Atlas didn't do that. It aligned itself with the ecliptic plane, the flat pancake where all our planets reside, with a precision that is statistically absurd. But that was just the beginning. The real headache began when we measured its rotation. Every object in space rotates, usually as a result of some ancient collision. But 3i Atlas isn't just spinning. 
it's stabilized. As it moves through the darkness, it wobbles. But that wobble is perfectly centered on an axis that points directly at the sun. Even as its distance from the sun changes, the axis adjusts to maintain that alignment within a seven degree margin. This isn't how rocks behave, this is how a sensor or a solar collector behaves. When you combine these factors, the trajectory, the solar locked rotation, and the massive anti-tail, the probability of this being a natural coincidence drops to 0.00001%. To put that in perspective, you are more likely to be struck by lightning while winning the lottery than for a random rock to accidentally exhibit this specific geometry. And then there's the anti-tail itself. Researchers like Avi Loeb have pointed out that for a jet to cut through the solar wind like a hot knife through butter, the particles being emitted cannot be the microscopic dust we find on comets. If they were dust, the radiation pressure from the sun would blow them back instantly, creating a traditional tail. Instead, 3i Atlas is ejecting something heavy, something with mass and momentum that ignores the sun's breath. I'll be honest, when I look at the triple jet structure revealed by the Hubble, I don't see a melting ice ball. I see a symmetrical engineered output. The two minor jets are separated at equal angles from the central anti-tail. In engineering, we call this a thrust vector or a thermal management system. Some astronomers argue it's just a strange comet with an unusual outgassing pattern, but others push back. They ask, at what point do we stop calling things strange and start calling them artificial? We are seeing a collimated beam of matter 11.6 times longer than it is wide. In nature, plumes of gas disperse. They don't stay in tight, needle-like columns for hundreds of thousands of kilometers. If 3i Atlas is a natural object, it is a one-in-a-billion anomaly that breaks our current models of cometary formation. Here's the part that always messes with my head, the silence. If you look at mainstream media reports or graphics from the BBC, they show 3i Atlas as a standard comet trailing a tail. They are literally ignoring the Hubble's data to fit a comfortable narrative. They show it moving tail first, because that's what comets do. But the latest images prove it's moving jet first. It's leading with its anti-tail as it exits the solar system. Why the denial? I don't think it's a grand conspiracy. I think it's a defense mechanism. To admit 3i Atlas is an anomaly is to admit that our current understanding of interstellar visitors is fundamentally broken but the silence is loudest when we talk about Mars. In late 2025, 3i Atlas made a relatively close approach to the red planet. During that window, independent researchers noticed something peculiar in the publicly available raw data from the Perseverance and Curiosity rovers. While NASA officially reported business as usual, some image analysts flagged brief, high-altitude flashes in the Martian sky. Flashes that occurred exactly when 3i Atlas was at its closest point. There is a growing theory, one that I'll be honest, sounds like science fiction, that 3i Atlas didn't just pass Mars, it utilized it. If this object is a modified asteroid carrying technological probes, that flyby would have been the perfect moment to dispatch a payload. We're currently looking at a team of researchers who are meticulously scouring thousands of frames looking for anomalous entries in the Martian atmosphere. They found several unexplained signatures, but not enough for a smoking gun yet. But ask yourself, why did Avi Loeb's papers on this specific anti-tail get rejected by the astrophysical journal letters with the claim that it would be of limited interest? limited interest, an object with a 0.00001% probability of being natural is of limited interest. This is the wall of silence. It's the institutional refusal to look at the data because the implications are too big. If 3i Atlas dropped something on Mars, it means we aren't alone in the solar system anymore. It means the void isn't as empty as we thought. 
and as 3i Atlas accelerates toward its next encounter, Jupiter, the mainstream astronomers continue to double down on the comet label. They've invested so much credibility into it being a rock that they can't afford to be wrong. Who would trust them again if they admitted they missed an interstellar probe because they were too busy looking for ice? The closer this thing gets to the outer system, the more the comet story falls apart. We're watching an object that visited our planets, aligned its axis with our sun, and is now drifting back into the darkness with its strange, glowing spear pointed right at the heart of our world. Sometimes I think we underestimate how quiet the universe can be. We spend our lives looking for a hello in a radio signal, but maybe the most advanced civilizations don't use radio. Maybe they use geometry. Maybe they send silent stone-colored machines to drift through the darkness, observing us without ever saying a word. 3i Atlas is heading for Jupiter now. In a few months, it will be gone, back into the interstellar silence where we can't follow. We may never get a better image than the one the Hubble gave us in January. We may never know if that triple jet structure was a natural fluke or the cooling system of an ancient engine. But as it leaves, it leaves us with a question. Are we ready to see the truth, even when it doesn't fit our maps? The void is full of mysteries, and 3i Atlas is just the latest to cross our path. If you want to stay on the edge of these discoveries, subscribe to the Cosmic Unknown and leave a like. It helps us keep the lights on as we stare into the darkness. If you feel this mission is important, consider becoming a member to support our deep space analysis. It makes a huge difference in keeping this content flowing during the quiet months. <laughs> Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars. The truth is out there, moving silently through the deep.